Hey guys, I had the luxury of seeing this cool eyeball sculpture and I wanted to do some math with it. The first I stood next to it, I'm six foot six, but more importantly, where my chin is at is just about six feet. So I think we can say the radius of the eyeball is six feet. And then I want to compare the size to a human eyeball. So let's Google the size of a human eye. So it's not a perfect sphere. Like we can roughly say a diameter of around 24 millimeters, or in other words, a radius of 12 millimeters. So now we got to convert this six foot. So let's look up six feet in millimeters. It looks like it's about 1828.8 millimeters. So now let's clean things up a little bit. So my first question is by volume, how many times bigger is this eyeball to a normal human eyeball? And to do this, we're gonna use the volume of a sphere. It's equal to four thirds pi r cubed. So the volume of the big eyeball would just be four thirds pi where we plug in this for the r. And this is approximately, whoa, that's huge, 25 billion. And that's approximately 25.6 billion cubic millimeters. Now, if we look at a normal human eye, we're going to plug in 12 for the radius, and that gives us about 7,238.23 cubic millimeters. So after we take this volume divided by this volume, we'll take the volume of 3.5 million eyeballs to be the same as the volume of that sculpture. So now I have a follow-up question. How many human eye-sized marbles could fit inside of it? This is a different type of question. This is called sphere packing. And the idea is that there are gaps where there is no sphere, where there's just air. And it's been proven that the most efficient sphere packing you can do is 74.048%. And this is a decimal is 0 0.74048. And I believe if we multiply this by this, it'll give us how many marbles would be able to fit inside of the sculpture. And it's about 2.6 million. So here's the answers to my two questions. By volume, it's 3.5 million times larger. And then 2.6 million could fit inside. How exciting.